Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Well, as I prepare to eat a steak tonight, I'm thinking I'm going to try to do a period where I'm doing more of a lion diet for a week or so. Just steak, steak, and more steak. And uh, although I'm losing some inches, I'm not losing enough weight, in my opinion, that lion scale, but I'm losing some inches. I just want to see if it, I do any better if I just do the steak. The one thing I will tell you is when I eat the steak, I am full. A lot of times I give you this beautiful picture of a steak. I can only eat half of it. And then around noon on the next day, I heat it up. I eat the other half. Uh, I'm not eating that much. But, all right, we wanted to, uh, wanted to talk about the doom and gloom everywhere. And uh, Okay. All right. Here's some videos that have been on YouTube, and I just put in Dollar in Trouble and they come up and I'm seeing more and more of them talking about countries ditch US dollar what's next they admitted the US dollar is in serious trouble and then they show the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell is the dollar in trouble this has been a year ago well I have to admit, sometimes I wonder and worry a little bit about it too. You never know. But I will tell you one thing about doom and gloom here. In the United States, this is an election year. And the current administration is not going to allow anything to happen to the U.S. dollar. No matter who they got to threaten, kill, or bribe, they are going to continue to do everything they can to provide the illusion that all is well. Now, after November 5th and the election occurs, who knows? No guarantees. But this is going back, in my mind, to the Bitcoin standard. If you have a good portion of your liquid net worth self-custodied in Bitcoin and anything were to happen to throw the U.S. financial system into a tailspin, Do you have a plan? If the banks were closed for two weeks or your account was closed for two weeks because of some unforeseen black swan event, do you have a way of getting your hands on a little bit of fiat currency so you can eat and conduct your life? 
if you wanted to travel somewhere else because of a war that came up or whatever, do you have a way of getting your money to come with you in a way that the government cannot stop? No government? Well, if you're free, if you have financial freedom and you have and you're a sovereign individual, you will not be subject, at least not all of your net worth or not all your liquid net worth will be subject to what they call capital controls. The International Money Fund, the IMF Bank, is writing all these memos and reports about how they can prevent people from bypassing capital controls. Well, let me tell them a little something. There's your capital control. Take a good look at it. I don't want to be controlled. I want to be a free individual. And I want the government to stay out of my business as long as I'm not hurting anybody else. And for those people who follow me on this channel, I know this isn't necessarily crypto related, but if you want to continue to be able to eat ribeyes in a world of financial strife, then you need a plan to be able to do that no matter what happens. Now, there's nothing going to happen between now and the election except everybody in the White House and everybody in Congress on the party that's in power side is going to say, all is rosy. My God, you should be so happy. Don't pay attention to that $6 oil price for gasoline. Don't pay attention to how much that chicken costs. Don't believe your lying eyes at the grocery aisle because all is good. Well, they can keep saying that and they're going to keep borrowing one trillion dollars. One trillion dollars every three months, every hundred days. They're going to borrow a trillion dollars to add to the amount that they owe. They're going to keep spending, deficit spending. They're going to keep on spending. They can't figure out how to have any austerity and save a little money, cut back anywhere. But don't worry, nothing's going to happen till after the November 5th election, if then. But. Maybe it goes on for years and years and years. We've seen this movie before. Countries that have debt in excess of 100% of gross domestic product usually have serious inflation. The Fed is using monetary policy what they call MMT, Modern Monetary Policy, to try to keep everything running smoothly. What they need is fiscal policy on the government's part. They need to quit spending so much money. The U.S. government is spending more than they have. Now, U.S. big place, they can do that for a long while. They've been doing it for 40 years. They've been playing the, the debt game for 40 years. However, the more they borrow, the more the value will run to a solid store of value like Bitcoin. But what's more important about Bitcoin than anything else is it's transborder. You can literally remember a series of words in your head and you can take your Bitcoin with you anywhere you go. 
There's nothing they can do to take it away from you. The government can't seize your money. You know, Canada did, did a lot of people a big favor. They showed just last year when they froze all their citizens' funds. If you had anything to do with the trucker, they froze your bank accounts. They basically took your money away from you. They, people wanted to donate to the trucker movement. They stopped people from using GoFundMe accounts to help people. Hell, they took the money of a bakery that sold baked goods to the truckers who walked in off the street and said, give me a couple donuts. They seized that bakery's money. What Canada did and what the United States has shown is if they don't like you, your money's not yours. If it's in the traditional FI, the trad FI, the traditional finance system, any way, shape, or form, they can block it. Can they take it from your bank accounts? Hell yeah, they can. They can block your bank accounts. They can do whatever they want. This isn't the government, we, the United States of the 60s or the 50s where there was rule of law. They do what they want and they don't apologize about it either. So anyway, all I can say is when you hear this doom and gloom, remember you at least got June, July, August, September, October where nothing's going to happen before that election. Only thing's going to happen is the people in power who want to get reelected are going to do everything they can to make sure that everybody thinks life is rosy. Now, let me say this. If you happen to be supportive of the administration that's currently in power right now if you happen to believe that open borders are a good thing if you happen to believe that joe biden is the best president you ever seen well i will say this if it was the other way around and the other party was controlling the government and administration, they would do everything they could to make sure everything seemed its best too. Because that's just the corrupt nature of politics. You manipulate everything to make you look the best you can look. Truth be damned. I don't think most of the people especially the senators up there. I don't think most of them could spell the word truth. There's a few of them that I get a kick out of who try their best to show just how bad this system is. God bless you, Senator, Senator Kennedy, who just recently asked somebody in a, in a Senate hearing, do you believe Elvis is alive? They said, no, I do not. Do you believe in Bigfoot? No, I do not. <laughs> wow, he's a funny fella. You know, you know you're going to have a bad day if you're going to testify in front of Congress and the people who are going to be asking you questions are Senator Kennedy, Senator Cruz, and Senator Rand Paul. If those are three of the ones that are going to be asking you questions, all I can say is bring a fork and stick yourself in a hand because you're done. It's funny. I don't care. If you don't watch this stuff, it's the best comedy. It's better than Saturday Night Live was ever. All you got to do is listen to Kennedy for about five minutes and you'll laugh your butt off. I hope the United States gets their act together, but don't worry about your money. If you've got it in hard assets like the stock market or in the banks, you're probably going to be okay. 
at least till November 5th. After that, all bets are off and, to, and need to be further evaluated. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.